Hey guys, it's Oriel, the Bad Wolf, number one man coming with you with new information. All right, so why I stopped thanking God and saying amen and doing the sign of the cross and all that good stuff? Well, for me, I guess I've come into kind of a realization that the, sorry, just adjusting this a little bit here. All right, the sign of the cross is actually, to me, from the information I've read and come to believe, nothing truly more than a sign of Jesus' pain and persecution. Um, it's a symbol, okay? But in the Bible it says, do not believe in, you know, symbols and um, anybody else but directly into the Creator. So that's one of the reasons I don't do that anymore. Even though it's not a bad thing per se, it's just a personal choice. Amen, or Amen, comes from the word in uh, Amen Ra, who was a leader in Egypt. Okay, so I'm not going to bless my food before this ruler, who some said ruled very harshly. Don't know, I wasn't there, but, and I'll, and I'll, I'll tie all this in together in a moment. Um, the next one, thanking God, well, I also came across information, and even the term God basically just means um, profound deity with power, okay? So, like, a God, the gods, or demigods. The being I believe in is the creator of the universe, the grand architect of the universe, um, the all-seeing, okay? So, from now on, I pray and put forth my efforts into the great universe, or I'll say the creator of the universe. Um, because if you created the universe, pretty sure there's no other God above you and all the rest of them are below you. Because I ain't seen any other God do anything else. I haven't seen any come to earth and do some stuff. I'm not going to believe in a false idol or a statue that I have to carry around. So I have to carry my God somewhere. You know what I mean? Um, it's not to say that I don't believe, you know, like Jesus and the work he, you know, most likely did or did do wasn't there. Um, but I have faith that it did, those things did occur. So I can't really believe in anything else but direct energy and the energy of, of being powerful enough to utilize its own energy to create all of matter, time and existence and things above and below and seen and unseen. Okay. So, like it says in the Bible, you know, that you shall not have another god or idol or image or whatever else, you know. So he wants, or she, or both, or not, none of the above, wants a direct connection between us and it. So even the churches, by um, definition, are wrong because you're not supposed to go and tell another person your problems and have them bless you and purify you or whatever else. Um, you can be baptized if that's your faith, that's you decide. Um, it does show a sign of, of uh, purity. But you don't need a middleman. Um, our Creator wanted us to be able to speak directly from us to it. Whatever kind of form thereof you believe in, that's... A, that's between you and them. So my words to you would be, you know, believe in what you believe no matter what at the end of the day because you have to live with your actions and choices and things thereof. And when it's all said and done, either there's nothing, in which case you've got nothing to worry about, or there's nothing but we continue on in an energy state, in which case you'll reincarnate and probably not remember anything you did or said whatever in your past life. If there is a God and there's a hell, I'm just saying if, um, then you, if you're don't, not a believer and you do believe, or if, if you're not a believer and, and you might go there, if you are a believer and you believe in these things and you've been good, then you are should be good to go, right? So out of all those chances and choices, I prefer to believe and I believe it said that you are not uh, saved by your works, but by your faith. Okay, so you can do a lot of works and still be 
garbage. Um, so believe by faith, believe directly from you to whoever, whatever is your creator. Um, don't put your salvation in mankind or false objects. Um, energy rules everything around us, including us. Uh, and so whoever is the creator of all that, however our beginnings were, or, or even where we're going, um, it's still all energy. So put your faith in the right place is my wording for today. All right. Thanks for listening. Have a good one.